guys, my name is Kiva and this is DIY with KB. Today I am back with a home decor haul. You guys loved that last time and obviously I love shopping. So it works out well for the both of us. Today I'm gonna show you the things I've picked up recently. Now it's only been three weeks so I haven't accumulated as many things as last time, but it's gonna be really great. Before we get into today's video, please remember to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram at kiva.brent. Now let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about today is lighting. I have accumulated so many lamps recently because my house is really dark. Every time you see me film a, bedroom, a video in my bedroom or my office, like you literally can't see anything and I'm trying to fix that. And obviously I'm not gonna build a window. So lamps. So the first lamp I got is a lamp all of you guys have been wanting. This is the Studio McGee. I don't know what it's called lamp. Um, it's cute. Something I will say is that there was some damage to this when I bought it. They're just like some dings in it, which I don't really love. When we got it, it was $40, but online now it says $45. I don't know. Maybe they priced it wrong. Um, but we're putting these on our bedsides. If you saw our most recent bedroom transformation, you saw them there. But I really like them, especially for the price because they're nice um, and modern and they don't take up too much space, which I like about a bedside table because obviously I want to use my bedside table for like snacks. <laughs> and other important things like that. Um, but I love these, I got two of them. Um, and I'm really happy with the choice. I really wanted to get sconces, which I think I will do sometime soon. There's some great ones from Article and West Elm that I really like, but for now, this is where we are. The next lamp I got is from Home Goods. It's a Tahari lamp. I actually really like this because of how tall the base is. Let's see, I'll show you guys. <laughs> okay. So this is how tall the base is, and that's just like really nice and modern to me. I do this thing now where I pick up anything that I might want one day or something my clients might want because obviously the home goods right now are so sparsely stocked and obviously home decor is not like the most important thing during this time, but I like to make sure that my clients have the things that they want accessible to them. So this was something that I picked up that I really liked. It was $59.99, which for... The base, the lampshade, and the light bulb, I'm really happy with. Someone actually told me that their home goods takes the light bulbs out, and that's not including the price, and they're scamming you, and I hate that for you. But um, I really like these. I got a set. I always buy um, two of everything because I'm a huge fan of symmetry. That's what I say is one of my like modern tips and tricks. Always buy two of something so that you can have that nice balanced look. So obviously I do that with my lighting. Okay, this is what I'm really excited for. So we love a good task light here. You know that you guys like my IKEA if like ones, which I love as well, but I wanted something brass. So I went on Lamps Plus and they have these beautiful lamps here. I'll show you the whole thing. Yeah, I like to film in my kitchen, but obviously it's not like practical for what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna stop, so. It is what it is, but this is only $54.99, um, and these are incredible lamps. They came immediately. Lamps Plus is probably my new favorite place to get lighting, um, and this is the Dawson Pharmacy Antique Brass Floor Lamp, and this one, again, was $54.99, and the exact replica of this from RH is, I think, $498, which is insane to me, so you're not going to beat this in terms of price, and the quality is really good. And it took babe like two minutes to put together and i know you're like it's just a lamp but sometimes ikea really has us out here struggling um i know you know what i'm talking about so you guys know that i love picture lights i think it makes art look really sophisticated even if you diy your art or you got it from home goods it's a really good way to take just like the space to the next level it really helps to anchor space but all of that to say i found this new battery powered picture light off of amazon i have the black ones and i like them but they have like a huge curve in them and that's not everybody's cup of tea and i found these battery operated led 16 inch picture lights with a remote control they are gold and this is what they look like um they also have a built-in level like the other ones the only downside of these is i think they take d or c, c. c batteries which like is not a battery that i have on hand i like stockpile batteries from costco i always sneak them in the cart every time we go but apparently not c batteries and then obviously one second obviously it comes with a remote control um, like the other ones, you can do different levels of light. So 10%, 40, 80, and 100. And then you can actually set it on a timer, which is really nice. But I like that it has a really short neck. And I think, yeah, it rotates like this, which is really nice. The other ones rotate a little bit. What I have noticed about all of our lights is that like the right kind of like juts out more than the left on all of them. I don't know if it's just because our walls are not level or what it is, but it bothers me. So I'm really excited about these ones as compared to the black ones. Again, I buy two of everything, but let's talk about bases now. So 
I like to buy vases that I like as is. Everybody right now is into that like baking soda paint um, vase painting thing. And it looks really great. Sometimes you can spray paint vases like older ones that you can get from like Goodwill or somewhere like that for really cheap. But I just like want them to look perfect. So I have been investing in a few. So these two are the Joshua vases from Pottery Barn. Um, I only got them because they actually had them in store. Pottery Barn shipping sometimes is just like ridiculous to me. So I won't get anything from them. But because they had them in store, I bought them. So, were they on sale? They were 10% off. Okay, well, they were 10% off. They're not anymore, though, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> for you guys. Um, but this one was originally $49.50. This is the small, I think. And then this one is $69. Yeah, I don't know if this is, like, the small and the large or the medium and the small. I don't know which one it is, but I like them. And I got two of them. So one of them is for my shelf styling out here in the living room, and another one is for my office. But again, I just buy things so that should I want them or a client want them at a certain point in time, they're here and available to me. And then I found these two vases at Home Goods the other day, and I really like them because they're nice and um, earthy looking. I just really love that about them. So this small one was $16.99. I will say a lot of dust, which is fine, obviously. So that one was $16.99, and then the larger one was $24.99. This is a really nice piece that can work no matter what your style is. So if you're more farmhouse or bohemian or modern, it could look nice in all of those spaces. And I really like to buy versatile pieces because I never know what kind of space I'm going to be working with. Um, so that's just something that I like to do. So now let's talk about non-vases. I've accumulated some home decor recently, but not too much. I'm trying to, you know, only buy things that I like. I've stopped going into stores that I don't like anymore um, because I buy things and then I have nowhere to put them and I'm upset with myself. Um, but something that I got from Home Goods that I really like is this basket. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute. I like this little knob on top. I can't really explain to you why I bought this, but I really liked it and I'm gonna put it under my console over in the living room mostly probably for like shoes because like we always have shoes in the middle of the floor and I hate that. Um, so this is a nice cute little way to get them out of the way. I don't know if it's going to be too wide for my console. If it is, I'll return it, but hopefully not. Again, like I always say, keep receipts on things until you're sure that you want to keep them um, because we're not always sure about our things. There's nothing wrong with taking them back to the store. Okay, and I am obsessed with this tray. It's just a nice metal black tray it's by fiddle and fern it's 30 inches by seven inches by three inches it is so cute i'm trying to find the price yes it was 34.99 and i don't know if it was necessarily worth that price but i love it it's a really nice thing just to go i'll show you um, in the middle of your island. I like to get really nice simple pieces like this to put like my keys in and stuff like that because I don't like having a table by the front door that just doesn't appeal to me. So I put everything on the island and it's like concentrated mess. And the best part is, is if you like want to eat at the island or do a project, you can just pick everything up and take it with you and put it somewhere instead of having to find like places for all your little things. Also, this is a great opportunity to do like some fall decor, winter decor, something like that. And a really nice narrow space so that it doesn't overwhelm your home. I've also been picking up a ton of coffee table books, not for my actual coffee table, but because I read them. I love Pinterest. Um, if we're not connected on Pinterest, we definitely should. I'm pretty sure my name is just Keep It Run on Pinterest, but please don't quote me. Um, but I love Pinterest, but sometimes it's really nice just like flipping through something um, with paper, not like staring at a screen for inspiration. So I got The New Stone Age, and then I got Kelly Wurstler's book because it was actually really affordable at Home Goods today. It was $34.99. And I had like 10 copies. So I was like, I'm definitely gonna get this. First of all, it's beautiful. Like if you've never even cracked open this book, it's beautiful, but she's amazing. She has so much information to share. So I can't wait to read this. Yeah, I don't know. Coffee table books are the only books that I will buy like in paperback at this point. Everything else I read on my iPad. And then last but not least, I wanna show you something that I picked up today at Home Goods because you guys loved my restoration hardware mirror hack that I did. Um, so I got a intricate mirror from Home Goods and I painted it, but I also said that if you couldn't find that mirror, there was a different way to do it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I actually have a spare mirror um, laying around in the house. So I'm gonna show you how to use this, which is just some detailing that would go on top of a mirror. I'm gonna attach it to my mirror and then paint it. So I'm gonna show you how to make that restoration hardware mirror at home with supplies that is actually like accessible to you. 
You can pick this up at Home Goods, but also at places like Joanne and Michael. So it doesn't really matter if your Home Goods has this exact thing. All you gotta do in the store is make sure that you um, look at the measurements or to bring a tape measure to make sure that it's gonna work with your mirror. But I think that's gonna be such a great project for us all to do because I know that we love those mirrors, but things can be expensive and you know, it's okay if that's not where you want to put your money. So this is going to be a really great project for us to do together um, and, or for you to do with your family or something like that. It's going to be really fun, so I'm really happy that I saw this at Home Goods today. But that's it for today's home decor haul. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed filming it and obviously getting all these things because I think they're very pretty. Um, what I will say is I'm so excited to jump into YouTube more. I actually got married last weekend. So for the past couple of weeks, I haven't been posting as much just because I've been busy with that. It was a whirlwind. I'm very happy to be in this part of my life, but I'm... I was going to say even more excited, obviously not. I'm equally as excited to be back on YouTube posting and creating stuff with you guys. So we have this project. I also have some DIYs, some kitchen updates, and tons of other things I want to do with you guys. So get excited for that. But until next time, have a beautiful day.